has a contribution from PowerPoint University to the doctors and the teachers. We have dedicated some special slides for them for their support to the community. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to create an animated MRI scanner with patient. And I hope this will be very useful for the teachers or for the doctors or for the medical staff. So you can see here this everything has been done in PowerPoint. All this design has been done in PowerPoint except the patient which has been done in uh, Adobe Illustrator. And you can see here one screen is there. So how the slide works when I click this patient goes inside and then the result will be uh, displayed on this particular screen. So let me just show you how it works. When I click you can see here the patient goes inside and then the result appears on the screen. So this is a simple way you can create this MRI scanner uh, with the patient templates. So let's start. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to select the circle hollow, draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key. You can see here, maybe this much size and then you can reduce the width by dragging this small orange point and then go to align center align middle and i'm going to cut this shape into half so you have to make sure that the size is okay let me just increase a little bit further and then align center align middle then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the half portion of the circle you can see here then I'm going to select the oval shape, hold the shift key and select the rectangle. Under format, you see the merge shapes and this merge shapes available only in the latest version of PowerPoint. You don't have in 2007 and you have to enable in 2010. So I'm just going to subtract it. You can see here I subtract it and shape outline. Maybe I can make it white and right mouse click go to format background and I'm going to change some color to some light color you can see here then select this object go to effects go to 3d rotations under presets I'm going to select off axis one left you can see here you end up getting this one now I want to give the depth of this for that go to 3d format you can see here depth maybe the depth i can give maybe 250 you can see here and if you want you can just change the color of your choice maybe i can just give some dark purple color or whatever and maybe shape outline i'll say no outline that looks much better so make it no outline you can see here and then I want to make another half for that I'm just going to press Ctrl D you can see here duplicate and if you want to change the color to some other color like purple or something you can change it and then go to format rotate you can see here flip vertical all right and then send this to back and then I'm just going to put it either you can attach it or you can give some gap not a problem so maybe I can give some gap. So you can see here so this is my one design ready so let me just remove the guides you can see here now i want to add some more here in the front and all those things that also can be done again i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and hold the shift key reduce the size you can see here and the depth i'm going to make it maybe only 20 you can see here and i'm going to give some different color combinations maybe i can give white let me just go to format maybe i can give white you can see here and i'm going to put it here and press ctrl d to duplicate and go to rotate flip vertical and then just add one more here so you can see here like this you can just do this particular design and then i'm just going to add the bed here go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle if you want you can select the rounded corner rectangle as well but let me just select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline you can make it no outline and then go to effects under 3d rotation i'm going to select which is off axis one top you can see here 
you got this shape and if you want to increase the width you can increase the width like this and this can go inside also so i'm just going to keep it something like this here and then if you want you can give a little bit depth to it for that i'm going to give the depth as maybe say 10 i think that's perfect and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here i duplicated this and i'm going to change the color to white and reduce the depth to maybe only three you can see here and hold the shift key and reduce the size so this is the the bed or the sheet on the top of this one let me just reduce further so it looks something like this so this is the one which will go inside along with the patient so we have to make sure that this is sent to back you can see here if i just let me just move this aside and i can just send this to back so this one also i can just send this to back so it has to go inside maybe i have to just send this bring this to front so you can see here this can go inside even i'm going to select this and this and bring to front so you can see here this will go inside like this along with the patient so i'm just going to keep it here and this also let me just bring it here and then i can just send this to back sorry yeah so it looks something like this all right and then i'm going to give a support for this go to insert shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw a trapezoid you can see here this much size maybe shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice whichever color you like and then for this also i'm going to give the 3d rotation maybe i can just select this you can see here and depth i'm going to give maybe uh, 50 you can see here select this one and then send this to back so you can see here this is the support we got of the the for this bed all right and if you want you can add one more trapezoid shape here you can see here let me just select this uh, trapezoid you know one support i'm going to give it here okay and whichever color you like and then again for this also i'm going to give some 3d uh this one let me just select which is better for maybe this one not this also maybe i can just select maybe this so you have to just see which one looks better for in this case you can see here there are a lot of different different options are available for you if you cannot figure out you can see here this is much better so i'm just going to select off axis one right all right and you can increase or decrease it and maybe you can give some depth also to this maybe or uh, 10 points something like this this is kind of a support for the mri so you can see here uh, the mri machine is ready and i can give something in the background also go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any light color and right mouse click edit point and i'm just going to drag it on the top you can see here to the top something like this and send this to back so it gives kind of a, a different look here and then I want to add a patient uh, the patient uh, it's very difficult to do this in PowerPoint so it has been done in uh, Adobe Illustrator so this is the patient we can see here which has been done in Illustrator I'm just going to lie down the patient here something like this and this also will go inside but again let me just select this and this again bring this to front you can see here something like this it will go inside all right so i'm just going to keep it let me just bend it a little bit and let it be here so you can see here our mri machine is ready the patient is ready and i'm just going to insert some screen here so that the mri result will be displayed let me just select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size you can see here and shape outline make it no outline 
and press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here and you can give some different color combination maybe a black color i'm going to use you can see here and just place it here and this blue color it is not visible i'm going to make it maybe a white and make sure that it is properly aligned you can see here you can hold the alt key also to get it properly aligned and then go to insert shapes and i'm going to select a trapezoid draw a trapezoid for the stand you can see here put it in the center shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and then i'm just going to send this to back so you can see here our screen is ready where the mri result will come now uh, here uh, what you can do here if you can see here i've just taken this image from the internet so i'm just going to copy this image here also you can see here this is a brain scanning so i'm just going to copy it here now it's time to do the animation for that go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm going to select this uh, the lady first or the patient first and go to add animations you can go to scroll it down you can see here motion path i'm going to select the line see the patient is going down instead of going down it should go towards the right side you can see here the small red point i'm just going to drag this and make it go something like this here so if i play it goes something like this but it is going very fast it has to go very slow so i'm going to reduce remove the smooth start smooth end timings i can make it very slow you can see here or you can make it extreme slow also so it goes something like this extreme slow is very slow let me just make it uh, very slow here and so it goes something like this now with the help of animation painter i'm going to select this and click on this white sheet you can see here this also and this should go with previous so if I play, you can see here the bed along with the patient goes inside. You can see here. And then this particular thing, I want to show it. Maybe I can make it appear or maybe I can make it fade or vibe or whatever, whichever shape you want. For example, I want to put wipe here. Maybe wipe, it comes something like this. And this should happen after previous. So if I play, it looks something like this you can see here the patient goes inside and then the result appears on this one and if you want you can add some text or whatever you want That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.